Okay, we're in front of a uh, little box house. We got a uh, tail point on the front of the pillar. Got all of it around the bottom of it here, a little bit. And a little bit at the top here. 150 over here. About 150. About 300. So about 550 on that. There isn't much to do on this part of the house at all. A couple little spots in the top of this wing wall. Cracks. Fifty dollars for that. And here's worn out. Could use a little tuck pointy in there. It's about two hundred right there. So we got five fifty, six, eight fifty. This needs a new foundation right here. It's all loose. You can't just tuck point that, it'll just fall apart next year. You know, part of the brick's right up on the uh, concrete. See this brick, and that's correct. And then you see right here, there's concrete here. So the concrete goes up and down. Breaks it all up. I don't think the bricks are stable underneath there anymore. I think the water's gotten in between them. They rise and fall and break that off all the time. A little bit of tuck pointing here. So this right here is to dig this all up 42 inches deep. It's eighteen hundred dollars. Put a new foundation on this. It's okay over here. We need a new foundation, forty-two inches deep, and cast a new stair and put the bricks on so that they're flush like this. The water will run off. It'll last forever. Otherwise, it'll just be patching it forever. This over here is a hundred. Around here, there's not too much. Looks like a little caulk right here. Maybe you want that taken off. Maybe not. It's not too bad. If you do, it's another hundred for that. So that's two hundred plus the eighteen hundred plus the eight fifty. Back here, you got caulk on the house. Grind it off. Rinse clean. Refill. That's about a hundred. Okay, over here, the bay. Cut all this caulk back out of here and put mortar in it. These are known to open up, by the way, because of the flex. This isn't a bad product here, but the mortar looks a little better. Grind all this out, rinse clean, refill. A lot in here. Over in here, it's about 380 for that. Over here, you got a porch that's uh, got caulk all over it. Coming out, needs to be ground everywhere. Grind out every joint, rinse clean, refill, 750. Up here on the house, got a couple little small spots. And abrasion in there, it's about 250 there for all these. The wet spot in there, that all needs to be ground and tuck pointed. 250. Okay, around the front. There's not too much. This side's in pretty good shape. You got a little bit, a little bit of caulk there. It's $50 to grind that out and rinse clean, refill. Proper mortar. The chimney's debatable. You could use some work on it, but it isn't the end of the world. You could fill a couple holes up there and make it look a lot better. But otherwise, it needs grinding in about a belt around it, about three feet high, all the way around. It's pretty weather weathered. And we put the stones back up on top of the chimney there. Those New York, uh, or that's sandstone. Put those back up. That's 350. There you go. A little bit on the front, around the limestone where the caulk is. We take that out. It's like seventy dollars. All right. So we got seventy, three fifty. It's four twenty. Leave the chimney alone. It's thousands for the chimney. 420, 480, plus 750. That's 1230 so far. 1230 plus 350 for this over in here. There's a lot to do in here. I think it goes up here too. We're at 1230, say 400 for that. 1630. I think 
pick and choose any part of what you want to do. 1630 back here. Got about a hundred dollars worth. 1730. Eighteen thirty, nineteen thirty, twenty thirty. We'll debate about this. Twenty one thirty, twenty two thirty, twenty three thirty, twenty four thirty, twenty four eighty. Grind this all out and rinse clean. Six. Three thousand thirty dollars for tuck pointing. Now for the chimney, it isn't that bad. You could fill a few holes on the verticals. Otherwise, it needs tuck pointing. You know where they stopped up there. See the new uh, mortar they got up here. It needs tuck pointing from here to here. And then the stones are kind of getting cracks in between them too. It's not the end of the world. A lot of work fixing all those cracks in here. There's just everything we got a crack, you know. So that'd be a lot of work. We'll have to see if we want that done before we add that in there. There's a lot of work. You see up here how the wind's blowing the mortar out in this area here. From where they did their repairs at the top in here, down in here. So you got about a six foot area that's kind of wind blown. With mine, I just fixed the vertical so it looked full. Just leave it. It's a big job to do all that. The backside's probably just as bad or even worse because nobody does much on the back. They leave it alone. You only got a few holes here. We fill a few holes up there for about three, four hundred dollars. Make it look great. Okay, three thousand forty dollars. Plus about 400 for the chimney. If you want to just fill the holes, the verticals, let me know. Okay.